so Theo Walcott has moved to Everton. The England international had been an Arsenal player for an incredible 12 years, becoming a gutter in January 2006, arriving from Southampton as a 16 year old. Since then he's been to a World Cup as a teenager, won FA Cups and scored more than 100 goals for Arsenal and played over 400 games. However, many will suggest that Walcott hasn't lived up to his potential and a move to Goodison Park for the 28 year old could resurrect a stalling career. But let's go back to August 2006 when Theo Walcott made his Premier League debut, coming on as a substitute in Arsenal's 1-1 draw with Aston Villa, the first league game to be played at the Emirates. Let's look at who started for Arsenal that day and where they are now. In goal was Jens Lehmann. The German stopper was at fault for the Aston Villa goal, coming for a cross that he had no right to get as Olaf Melberg rose above him to head home the first competitive goal at the Emirates Stadium. Lehmann would leave Arsenal in 2008 and join Stuttgart on a free, where he would end his career two years later. However, in March 2011, Jens Lehmann put on his gloves once again to help out the Gunners, coming out of retirement with Arsenal in the midst of a goalkeeping crisis. He played one game and retired at the end of the season. Nowadays Lehman is an assistant coach at Arsenal, dealing with an angry Arsene Wenger week by week. At right back was Emmanuel Abue. The Ivory Coast fullback was a gunner between 2004 and 2011, eventually leaving with just a Champions League runners up medal to his name, joining Galatasaray for 3.5 million euros. In 2016 he signed a short term deal with Sunderland that ended in tears in true Sunderland fashion, with Abue not playing a minute for the Black Cats and ending up with a year long ban from FIFA due to not paying his agent. Things got even worse in 2017 for Abue, as it was confirmed that he was homeless and poor following a divorce from his wife. Now though, Abue is working as a youth coach at Galatasaray, hopefully getting things back on track. At centre back was Kolo Toure. A funny character both on and off the pitch, Kolo Toure's antics have masked the fact he was actually a brilliant defender at Arsenal. Brother of Yaya, Kolo would join Man City in 2009, then go on to play for Liverpool and Celtic before retiring last year and taking up a coaching role at Celtic Park as a technical assistant, whatever that means. From the brilliant song with his brother to running over Phil Dowd, Kolo Toure is the ultimate meme. He was alongside Johan Juru. While Kolo Toure provided banter and sometimes glistening performances, Johan Juru did none of those things and was in fact just a bit of an accident waiting to happen in North London. In 2013, the Swiss international left Arsenal permanently, heading to Hamburg, and at the start of this season he joined Antalyaspor in Turkey, playing alongside ex-gunner Samir Nasri, where no doubt they sit back and reminisce about the glory days at the Emirates. Left back was Justin Hoyt. The Hoyt brothers both began their careers at Arsenal, but it was older brother Justin who made more appearances in red for the Gunners, playing 34 Premier League games for the club, and starting the 2006-07 season at left back due to Arsene Wenger's injury woes. Now aged 33, Hoyt has since played for Middlesbrough, Millwall, Dagenham and Redbridge and is now in America lining up for FC Cincinnati. So really it all worked out in the end for Justin, while his younger brother Gavin plays non-league football for Eastleigh. In midfield it's Alexander Haleb. A man still held in high regard by Arsenal fans, Alexander Haleb dazzled during his three years at the Emirates and his performances were enough to earn him a move to Barcelona, where sadly the Belarus midfielder was nowhere near the level required to play for the Catalan Giants. He would have loan spells with Stuttgart, Birmingham and Wolfsburg before leaving in 2012 and since then he's never really had a home, circulating between Sovetov Samara, Bate Borisov, Konya Spor, and a team whose name I can't say so I'm just going to put it up on the screen. Now age 36, Haleb is without a club. In the middle was Gilberto Silva. The hero against Aston Villa, Gilberto Silva scored a late equaliser to ensure his side didn't suffer a shock defeat in their first Premier League outing at the Emirates, a goal that a young Theo Walcott was instrumental in creating. Gilberto retired in 2015 and embarked on a career as a football consultant for players and clubs, while Arsenal still haven't replaced the midfielder a decade after he left. Next up was Cesc Fabregas. Theo Walcott wasn't the only teenage sensation at Arsenal, as a 19 year old Cesc Fabregas began the season at the heart of the Gunners midfield, going on to play in all 38 Premier League games. Of course, Fabregas went on to become Arsenal captain and would then inevitably return to Barcelona, joining the club he left as a teenager. The Spaniard wasn't begrudged his dream move to Barcelona, but became a Judas figure when he did the unthinkable and joined rivals Chelsea in 2014. But the booze don't bother Fabregas, he just looks at his two Premier League winners medals for reassurance. Also in midfield was Freddie Youngberg. 
An Arsenal legend and the one your mum used to fancy from the Calvin Klein adverts, this was the beginning of Freddie Youngberg's final season at Arsenal, joining West Ham in 2007 for a disastrous spell in East London. After a hiatus from the game, Youngberg returned in 2009 to play for Seattle Sounders, going on to line up for Chicago Fire, Celtic, Shimzu Espulse and finally Mumbai City in his career. The Swede has embarked on a coaching career that began at Arsenal, but his last job as assistant coach at Wolfsburg came to an end in September 2017, when manager Andres Jonker was sacked along with his assistants. Up front for Arsenal was Emmanuel Adebayor. A man who has an incredible ability for pissing Arsenal fans off, Adebayor did exactly that with his departure from the Emirates, joining the newly rich Manchester City, and going on to score past the Gunners on his first appearance against his former club, and then running the length of the pitch to celebrate in front of the Arsenal fans in the ultimate act of shithousery. After a loan spell at Real Madrid, Adebayor went even further lengths to enrage the Gunners, joining rivals Tottenham Hotspur and playing for them between 2011 and 2015, initially on loan. The Togo striker had a short spell at Crystal Palace and is now in Turkey at the age of 33, playing for Istanbul Başakşehir. And finally, it's Thierry Henry. The man who Theo Walcott inherited the elusive number 14 shirt from, it's fair to say that he didn't really do it justice, but that's merely down to how insanely good Thierry Henry was for the Gunners, becoming the club's all-time leading goalscorer. In 2007, Henry joined Barcelona where he won league titles in a Champions League, as well as enraging an entire nation after a handball in a game between France and the Republic of Ireland, a game that some scarf-wearing Irishman isn't quite over. Henri's playing days came to an end in the MLS with New York Red Bulls, during which he managed to find time for a quick loan return to Arsenal, and nowadays he's the assistant manager for Belgium and works for Sky Sports as a pundit. So that's the starting eleven from Theo Walcott's Arsenal debut and where they are now. Let us know how you think Theo Walcott will do at Everton in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.